So property clocking recommendations, if a DUT only changes state at a rising edge of clock, then it, it's essential that your properties only use the rising edge of a clock because it makes things more efficient in formal because formal can recognize if the design and the properties only change on the positive edge of clock, there is no need to evaluate anything on the negative of clock. It saves a lot of time, a very significant performance increase. For gate level simulations, if you're talking about simulation, if you have greater than half a cycle of slack, then your certs are gonna fail because the signal delays. Always use the same edge of the clock for properties as your design users. If you've got a choice, use the most infrequent property clock for checking behavior. You don't need to check every property on every active edge of a clock. You can qualify it with IWF, as we've seen on the previous slide. The clock doesn't need to be periodic. Often you have to invent these clocks for yourself anyway. So you might only want to check a property when a right address changes, for example. There's no need to do it every single clock because it will take more evaluation time. And always take time to understand the issue. So if you get the clocking wrong, everything else is wrong. So be very aware of that, especially when defining multi-clock properties. You have to really understand what you're doing.